Happy Juneteenth everyone! Welcome to my channel Joyful Designs. I am your girl, your chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, Joy Fuller. On today's DIY episode, we are going to go into the vault. We are going to pull out an old DIY and we are going to give it a facelift. That's right. So you know what time it is. It's time to craft. Let's go. If you saw my short recently, you saw this uh, planter that is made from four frames, five by seven frames, as a matter of fact, from the Dollar Tree. I am now taking it out. I am going to give this frame a facelift. It's been sitting in a closet for about two years now. Um, I am removing all of the foliage. Uh, you'll notice that I am keeping the the moss and I am keeping all of the greenery. I am removing push pins or pins that I had secured the, the ferns which is one of the leaves around the foam brick and I am now as you can see taking all the excess and just getting rid of it so that I can start with the clean slate. This is going to look totally different when I'm done. Um, I am keeping the skeleton of this, cleaning out the dust and everything with the baby wipe. You'll notice that I am going to put some heat on inside of the joints of where the connections are for the frame to loosen up some of the old glue that was there. I am getting ready to take the little black pegs out of the frame. That's the part that you fold over the picture. Um, I am removing all of those. I am so excited for you to see this. I am going to make this more of what the style of my home is. And again, my house is rustic decor, what rustic farmhouse to be exact. Um, with a little bit of boho now my style may change probably next year but as for the last two years it's been more of the rustic farmhouse decor with the little boho added in and again I'm just removing the little black pigs that's on the inside wiping down the dust um, you'll notice in another clip coming up that I will be taking the um, heat, heat gun and again just drying up the, the wet wipe and removing again some of the glue. I want to make sure that it's, I start with a very clean and neutral surface. I don't want to paint over the glue so I'm really trying to make sure I get as much out I am adding more glue in the joints of the frame to make sure that it is secure uh, and trust me I added some E6000 to it so it's not going anywhere I am again making sure that when this is handled it's going to be sturdy so I am offering I am actually putting some um, popsicle sticks in the grooves or the joints of the picture frames again this makes it more sturdy gotta have it sturdy now you don't want it to fall apart if somebody pick it up to take a look at it uh, all of these products did come from the Dollar Tree and I am just again adding the popsicle sticks in the joints of the picture frame to make sure it's good and secure. I hope you all are having a great day. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and, you know, hit the like bell or the like sign click on your notification bell and make sure you subscribe to my channel for 
beautiful DIY content from using Dollar Tree products and products from other stores or just things that I have around my house. As you can see, I am just removing glue that may have spilled over. Sanding so that the paint will um, fit on here without, you know, being all streaky. Wiping down the frame again, removing dust, cleaning up the dust from the table. And now I have my plaster color Waverly paint. I will be using this on the entire pro project. I will be adding several coats to this, probably about three coats. Uh, one I will be putting and applying um, online or on camera right now, and then the other two coats will be off camera. And this is going to be so cute. And feel free to paint this in the colors that fix your, fit your home decor, as well as if you wanna leave the frame in its natural state you can do that also if you like it again I was just doing um, uh, refitting this or repurposing this or giving this a facelift I am applying some spackling inside of the crevices where you can see gaps again I want this to look very uniformed and well put together and understand that with these frames from the Dollar Tree uh, there are they will not always fit perfectly there is some irregularities to their frames trust me As you can see, I've already distressed this off camera using burnt amber paint. I have my foam brick. I am going to put it in the center, adding some hot glue. And then I do have some regular clear glue that I'm going to be using as well. And now I'm taking an, an alcohol wipe and I'm going to wipe down the glass pieces of the frame to remove any marks from it. And these alcohol wipes I actually purchased from Walmart. This is a floral. box that you can also use to either put your family photos inside of it uh, and as you will see towards the end of this project once I do the reveal you'll notice that I actually used a clothespin and um, put it or actually glued it on one of the frames and put my and my husband hubby picture on it How was your happy Father's Day? How was Father's Day for you guys? Are your parents and father still living? 
uh, my father is deceased. Um, so it was uh, bittersweet. My kids spoiled my husband and so did I. Uh, my sons, I have two adult children. One will be turning 40 this year. The other one will be turning 37. They are fathers. So um, I was able to spend time with the 37 year old with my two grand boys, um, but not the oldest. He had to work. Nevertheless, I still wish my babies a happy Father's Day, all three of them. As you can see, I am just gluing the, putting glue inside the, the seams of the picture frame so that the glass will fit down in it. Well, I have some of the um, you can see those little um, paper frillies that you use to put inside gifts. I am using that as uh, moss because I'm only going to use the moss that you see on the table. I didn't want to open up my bigger container. Not yet anyway. And as you can see, I am gluing the clothespin. And off camera, I did have to go back and um, remove this larger clothespin and put a smaller one so that the picture would fit right. But again, you can use this. You can do it like this. Use a picture or if you can put your favorite saying on there, it, you know, it's, it's really up to you. Again, decorate to fit your style, your home decor. And if you're still here with me, please type the word or comment yellow in the comment section. And if you have yet to do so, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget the notification bell. And all these flower or floor picks come from the Dollar Tree. Everything you see here comes from the Dollar Tree. You'll see me add some legs to the bottom. These are the ABC blocks. I did pick those up from Guardian Angel Thrift Store in the city of Fuqua, Verena, North Carolina. I think these yellow flowers are so pretty. And I know they more spring, springy time, but it is summer and I do see yellow flowers, so it can kind of go both ways. Um, I think it's really cute and it actually looks really good in the picture frame vase. And happy Juneteenth to everyone. How are you celebrating Juneteenth today? Did you have to work? Do you even acknowledge it? Of course I do, and I am decked out in my Juneteenth gear. This is coming together so beautifully.
And now you'll see me re-adding the moss. This is the Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree. And again, this is some that I've removed from the original design and just putting it back inside. Just use what you got. No need to waste anything. Making sure I fill in the gaps. I have so many DIYs coming up, you guys. It's just a matter of me being able to edit the videos and do the voiceovers. Um, look at that. I know you guys are going to love them. And that's me and my honey on the front right there. Him handsome. And there you have it, guys. Isn't it? pretty i started to put some fairy lights on the inside of it but it was really late by the time i had finished with this so i did not but this turned out really cute and it looks way better than it did if you're still in this video thank you for just supporting my channel and rocking with your girl enjoy fuller And again, if you have yet to like or subscribe to my channel, please do so. And thank you for so much for your support. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.